Hi, I'm Chad Kapotic, Quality Control Manager here at Dang Banjo Company. Today we're going to go over how to tighten and adjust the truss rod in our Good Time 6 and Good Time 6R banjos. The truss rod allows us to add or take away any curvature in the fingerboard to better adjust the playability of the instrument. The tools needed in order to adjust these truss rods are some feeler gauges, specifically a 10 thousandths or 0 .010 inch, a capo, a Phillips head screwdriver, a 964 hex wrench, and a tuner so we can tune it up when we're done and start playing. First step, we're going to remove our truss rod cover by removing this single screw in the peg head here and move the truss rod cap out of the way. Underneath the truss rod cap, you're going to see a 964 hex socket, and that's what we're going to adjust using our wrench. In order to see how much adjustment is needed, we're going to capo across the first fret. We're going to hold down the third string at the 22nd fret, and we're going to slide our 10 thousandths feeler gauge between this third string and the seventh fret. And what we want to see, if it's in perfect adjustment, is there be no gap between the bottom of the string and the top of this feeler gauge. And what we have is a pretty big gap. What this affects is the playability up the neck, making cording and noting a lot harder as you work between the fourth, fifth fret, all the way up to about the twelfth fret. What we want to do is tighten the truss rod, tightening it is going to flatten that neck out a little bit until we reach the perfect adjustment. Want to start slow, doing quarter half turn for the first turn, and then check it. A little bit goes a long way, so do it in small steps, that way you don't over adjust it. We'll check again on the third string at the seventh fret, and we'll see we still have some adjustment that's needed, so we'll go another quarter turn. And we'll check again on the third string, seventh fret. And we're almost there, just a little bit more, so one, one more quarter turn. You want to make sure you have a firm grip on the banjo while you're tightening that because it does start putting a bit of tension on there uh, and it's a good idea to keep the banjo stable. So check again at the 7th fret and now that feeler gauge slides right underneath that string barely touching the bottom of it and that's perfect, that's exactly what we want. Ten thousandths of an inch between the bottom of the third string and the top of that seventh fret. Now we can remove our capo and reinstall the truss rod cap. And that's how we adjust the truss rod on our Good Time 6 and Good Time 6R banjos. Also remember if you start getting any kind of buzzing between the first and fourth fret it could mean that your banjo has a little bit of back bow to the fingerboard, which is the opposite of relief. The same adjustment can be made in order to put relief into the neck. Instead of tightening the truss rod, we'd loosen it. And we'd hold the same specification, of that ten thousandths of an inch between the third string and the seventh fret. Thanks for watching. For more information and tech videos, make sure to visit DeeringBanjoJust.com. Get in touch with us if you have any questions. And we'll see you next time.